Alrighty, I have an amazing construction update for you guys today on Yukon Striker, Frontier Canada, and I guess the same old with Orbiter, um, but uh, some very exciting stuff going on. If you look just there, there's only two sets of trains there. There's six compartments in a train, so six cars. Um, so the two trains, one's missing. Well, where could it be? right there in front of you. So one train is loaded into the storage shed on Yukon Striker. The other train, as you just saw in the footage, was loaded onto a flatbed and is gonna be shipped into the park as well. That's super exciting. If you're looking at the screen, you're probably noticing a bunch of things. It's difficult to look and figure out exactly what's going on because there's so many different things to look at. Um, but right there, you can see the station framework is going up. So the top portion of the station is going up. Um, and uh, so that'll be exciting to watch. You have Frontier Canada construction going on just over by the vertical loop. They're digging up a lot of land over there. Um, they're digging up land next to the drop on the other side of the drop along the like kind of shoreline of the pond, whatever you want to call that. Um, and yeah, definitely very exciting. In this footage, you're actually going to see the elevator being used as well, and then people walking on top of Yukon Striker. That's super exciting. Um, there's work going on Mindbuster. Uh, it looks like they're replacing one portion of a support column on Mindbuster. It looks like down by the last bunny hop before the turnaround. Um, Orbiter looks demolished beyond belief. And there's a bit of like a, a service road or road that's like carved out there that connects to the main pathway. Um, so again, for the 2019 season, my prediction is that there's going to be a pathway of some sort that connects Behemoth to the Yukon Striker area. Um, and then whatever happens in the future happens in the future. The ride's obviously not going to be replaced immediately or anytime soon. Um, but there is an update about Orbiter. It is up for sale. So... It looks like Wonderland's not demolishing it. That would explain why it was taken apart carefully um, and sitting in the storage lot ready for shipment to whoever chooses to buy it. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, trying to think of what else. There was so much going on. Yep, you have the station framework. Yukon Striker trains, you can still see them there. I know we're so far away. I can't get you a closer view until we're invited back to the park. But Yukon Striker trains are definitely in the storage shed there if you look closely. Um, and more are going to be on their way into the park. If you notice that flatbed next to Mindbuster's little bunny hill, you can notice that there's a little bit of a support column that's being repa repaired. Um, again, each season, very minimal work is being done to Mindbuster. I'm going to take that as a big sign considering Wild Beast is getting like pretty much the special treatment and being replaced in large portions. Um, definitely keeping an eye on Mindbuster. I don't think it's here to stay at Wonderland in the long term. Does that mean it's going to be removed right now? No, it doesn't mean it's going to be removed right now. But I definitely don't see Mindbuster's future being a strong one. I think Splashworks needs an expansion. And Orbiter's Plot of Land mixed with Mindbuster's Lift Hill and Station and Q-Line um, makes up a big plot of land for another coaster for Frontier Canada down the line. Um, maybe at the end of the five-year expansion, we could see a coaster in that plot of land and um, a water park expansion. I think Mindbuster just takes up too much valuable land at this point. Um, and I think that the park probably knows that. It's an older attraction. Um, and there's a lot of what I think problems and uh, negatives to this ride. So hopefully this thing gets torn down at some point. I really hate it. Um, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone. I really hate Mindbuster with a passion. Uh, as soon as you get older, um, like especially into your mid 20s and older, it really starts to hurt your back and bones. Um, I know a lot of people couldn't relate to that. That's uh, listening to this right now. Um, so again, um, back to Yukon Striker. So the trains are on the uh, storage shed. That does not mean testing is going to take place any soon, anytime soon. And I'll explain why. So as you look at the station area, you're not going to notice any op booth. You need an op booth to test the ride. You need electrical, the op panel, the op booth and all that. And there's no sign of that yet. Um, so obviously testing is not going to take place in the next week, two weeks, three weeks. Again, it's going to take place March. Um, I was aiming for early March um, My in my predictions. I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case anymore. I'll keep an eye out. It could change. Um, Leviathan tested around March 22nd in, uh, in 2012. So we're going to probably see a similar timeline, maybe second week of March, third week of March, 
we'll see testing. We are getting closer to that, so we're about a month away from testing. So that is exciting. Um, and it looks like things are going really well. The station is coming along. So as you notice, it is different from the rendering. So the station actually goes out to the transfer track area, unlike in the animation, it ends right at the station. So um, that's pretty exciting that it's a little different than the animation because um, I'm looking for a little more excitement coming from that building. Um, here's me trying to get as nice a shot. So I flew down low to look at that uh, train in the storage area. Um, we're going to be flying um, every day at possible. Again, I shouldn't have even been flying today. Um, it was difficult to fly in the high winds and it was cold. Um, and whenever that happens, I'll go personally and fly myself. Um, but yeah, we'll be flying as much as possible, keeping an eye out for anything because things are getting really exciting. Um, we're seeing the electricals hooked up because they're using the elevators. We've, this is actually, I think, the third time we've seen them use the elevator. Wonderland posted a video of them using the elevator. Um, and definitely lots of work going on. Um, so I'm trying to think of, oh, and the Frontier Canada construction. There was so much today, it keeps slipping my mind. Um, Frontier Canada construction going on down by the vertical loop. Um, again, I'm not necessarily, like, I can't guarantee it's Frontier Canada, but with the amount of digging that's going on over by the second Immelman and the vertical loop, I'm assuming it is Frontier Canada related. Again, we know there's going to be some sort of immersive area launching with this coaster. On the website, it says, with Yukon Striker, we are also um, a launching or revealing or some sort of word. I forget the word they use. Frontier Canada with it. So um, I'm expecting some sort of immersive area like Forbidden Frontier, just maybe not as elaborate because Frontier, Forbidden Frontier is kind of like that separate edition. And with Yukon Striker, we can't see too big of a like, you know, like challenges or anything. I'm expecting kind of like, you're going to see those little like fishing for gold almost with those like strainers, maybe at most um, some shops. Um, I don't see any signs of a restaurant in this area. I would love to see coasters, the restaurant right there, maybe transformed into a Frontier Canada type restaurant, kind of like re-retrofit that building um, to fit in with the area and start maybe Frontier Canada right at that building where the Coca-Cola free zone is, where they spray you with mist. I would love to see something like that um, to kind of complement the area. I know that they kind of made that building over in the other side of Frontier Canada, more Canadian at the end of the last season. Um, maybe changing the colors would help a little bit because I still think it's a little further on in the era of Canada to fit in with uh, um, Frontier Canada. So I'd like to maybe see it like made a little to look a little older in terms of eras. Um, but I don't have a general idea of what Frontier Canada is going to look like. I don't think any of us do. Um, hopefully the park starts to tease or uh, show us some sort of um, kind of spoilers to what Frontier Canada is going to look like. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see lots of updates coming from Grace Peacock at the park um, and the marketing team. They've been absolutely fantastic. My team and I were actually talking that Canada's Wonderland has been one of those parks that have been posting the most this season. And that's rare for Wonderland. Wonderland's um, in the past usually been that very secretive park where we don't get to see a lot of the stuff going on in the park during the off season. And I've just noticed ever since uh, Grace joined the team and uh, there's a lot of new people on the team as well. The team's uh, been posting a lot of stuff, very informative. I've noticed a lot of more engagement in the enthusiast community in Canada. Um, so I definitely think it's helping and it's just so awesome to see the park really stepping out of their comfort zone um, and being more enthusiastic and inclusive with their coverage. Definitely enjoying it and love them for that. Um, but yeah, not much else to report on. Um, I think oh, in this shot, you can see the elevator going up and then you're going to see some people walking around the top. I don't know what they're doing. Could be the marketing team taking pictures, could be the construction team finishing off electrical and making sure everything's good to go. Um, again, over in the parking lot, you have the trains on flatbeds. They're definitely coming in. They weren't on flatbeds before. So super exciting. Lots of things are gonna be going on over the coming days. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this pretty big update on Yukon Striker. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, if you guys don't mind, definitely share this video for others uh, to check out the channel and the videos on Yukon Striker. Anyways, hopefully you guys are having a warm uh, little winter blast today in Canada. And I know a lot of the states is being hit by some snow as well. So everyone stay warm and safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.
At the back of the house Where a high school teacher Caught us when making out You and me perfect strangers But really not at the same time Nothing can come between us You and me we're staying Vibes coming up and you know it. You and me, we're staying. Alive. 